What is your weirdest experience while going to the gym? I was running on the treadmill and there was this scruffy guy all hunched down like 3 treadmills away and he kept loudly muttering to himself you can do it, you got this and making weird noises. He kept doing it for like 20 minutes. At first I was like annoyed cause he was rather loud and it was weird but after about 10 minutes I distractedly started thinking to myself I can do this. I got this. He was unintentionally inspiring to me. I swear my gym is actually a gateway into the fey. One time I saw a fit man with impeccable flowing locks stare himself down in the mirror. He just kept saying yes and growling a bunch. Then he went over to the stretching area and did what could only be described as jazzercise while listening to aggressive hip hop on his headphones so loud I could hear it from the squat rack. Periodically, he'd holler out grunts and hype sounds and curse words with the music. I'm pretty sure he was a lynx in a human body. One time I'm on the bench and I hear two dudes. You look ducking amazing bro. You're the best looking dude in this gym. Ah, you are bro. I turn around after a set. And they're identical twins. There's this old guy who wears a toupee to the gym. It's hideous. Like he decided when he bought his regal be ginger now. But he's like a swarthy Mediterranean white dude. When he works out, the toupee wax that affixes it to his bald skull melts and runs down the sides of his head. He never seems to mind. Saw a guy on a stair climber wearing sunglasses and a leather jacket. Back in the early 1980s and late 1970s, I used to work out a Gold's Gym in a western Canadian city. The gym was also the favorite workout spot for professional wrestlers when they were doing a gig in town. The weirdest thing was seeing how dramatically different some of these guys were in real life compared to their wrestling personas. One guy whose persona was of a British dock worker type would show up at the gym in a three-piece suit, edit. No he didn't work out in a suit, and speaking the poshest of British accents, and was constantly giving other wrestlers investment and tax advice, apparently he was an accountant as well. What was surprising was that some of them weren't faking it but in real life they were as rude, selfish and ignorant as their characters. I also remember how sad was seeing how some of the older wrestlers were really suffering from dementia, probably cumulative effects of concussions, and were literally guided through everything by other wrestlers. Even simple things like getting dressed. I was impressed by the care some these guys gave to their older colleagues who needed constant attention. However, the most interesting experience was Jesse Ventura. Of course when the wrestlers showed up, they were generally followed around by a horde of fans. Usually teenage boys. Some were hostile to their fans. Telling them to FCK off. Others gave a quick acknowledgement and then moved on. However, Jesse would spend an incredible amount of time with his fans, especially the younger ones, listening and talking to all of them with total attention. I remember seeing him trying to do leg presses while taking questions from a crowd of boys about what it means to be a man. Even back then, when he was just the heel Jesse the body, out of the ring he showed that he understood the impact that he could have as a role model to young men and took it seriously. When he became governor of Minnesota, I was definitely not surprised. A guy at a very nice luxury gym was not just dropping his squats. He was actively throwing them up and letting them drop 4 plus feet to the safety rack causing a ridiculously loud sound and a crash. When I asked him to stop he was extremely aggressive and rude and said he had been a member for 10 years. Management ended up kicking him out about 10 minutes later. I got literally flexed on. I saw a girl who I mistook as somebody I knew. Went to say hi. She was cool about it. Said it's happened before. Then a guy came over and said something going on here. And literally just flexed. I've never had a bad experience at the gym before. But this dude was above and beyond. Always see them together now. Dude must have some redeeming qualities about him. I accidentally put my number code into another lock that was beside mine. Botched the last number and the lock actually opened. The wait witch. Lady walks in on a Saturday morning. I've never seen her there before. She was significantly overweight but had on gloves and knee braces. So I figure she's a power lifter on a bulk. I'm warming up doing some cable internal rotations and have my headphones on. So I don't see that she sets up at the cable machine behind me. I finish my set and turn around. And I see her getting ready. She's got a straight bar attached to the cable machine with the arm down near the ground and the bar on the floor. 
She half crouched squatted in front of this thing and I'm thinking she's about to do some kind of squat. When she starts waving her hands. As in. The kind of hand waving a wizard does when he's imitating someone imitating Bob Fosse-esque jazz hands. I couldn't stop watching. She did this for at least 30 seconds before she grabs the bar to start her exercise. And when I say grab the bar, I mean pick it up with both hands. Extend it until it gets resistance from the weight. And then start standing up and half squatting crouching. She wasn't engaging any weight. She was just using the bar as something to hold in her hands as she stood up and crouched down slightly. She did this for 3 sets and then moved to some cardio machines. I saw her a few times after that, each time doing something equally nonsensical. And always, always with the incantation hand motions. I miss her and hope she found a nice coven. I go to the gym at lunch and my office is somewhat close to a good sized university. So some of the college students also gym there since it's cheap and close. One day I was at the gym with a work buddy. We were alternating sets on the butterfly machine which was right in front of a row of treadmills. There were a few folks on the treadmill. An older guy I'd say in his mid 50s and two college age women two treadmills away from the older guy. They're wearing t-shirts and shorts of the local college. The women are running pretty hard. Doing some interval work. After a few sets. The woman closest to the old guy lifts her shirt to wipe her forehead sweat off. She's not wearing anything underneath said shirt. The older guy looks over and notices this and promptly stumbles on the treadmill and shoots backward onto the floor about 5 feet. I am in the middle of my rep when this all happens and I can't stop laughing. My gym buddy turns around at all the noise of the guy falling over. The two women immediately run to the bathroom giggling. I still wonder if this was all some kind of prank. Or just an accident. Never saw those two at the gym again. The woman who was hanging out in the locker room in her underwear. She was there when I came in. And still there an hour later. Someone told me she was probably an IG model doing a selfie photoshoot. I was on the treadmill waiting for the only squat rack to open up. A guy was holding it up talking to some other guy. And they talked for like 15 minutes. I was about to ask if I could work in. And then they started praying. Other guy put his head down. And squat guy put his hands on other guy's shoulders and started praying and doing that loud huffing between sentences southern baptist preachers do. And then another guy walked up to get in on the action. At the loaded squat rack. I just went and worked my legs on the machines. I remember a guy would spit and lick his hands before lifting weights or using machines and wouldn't clean it afterwards. Then even weirder he would straight up moan like he was ducking while lifting the heavier weights. It was weird and gross. Old man jerking off in the shower. I don't use open locker rooms anymore. Red hoodie guy would come into the gym always wearing the same red hoodie. He would hit the treadmill at 8-10 mph and just go. He could keep this pace for 30 minutes. But never seemed to get exhausted. Here's where it gets weird he must have had headphones on under the hoodie because he would air guitar and headbang the entire time. Imagine a guy running at full tilt while shredding on an air guitar. Non-stop. For half an hour. Not breathing heavily or grunting. Before abruptly stopping and walking out of the gym. NSFW. Moving to a new place. No friends nightlife. So went to the gym twice a day. One night I was closing the place down with a swim and was almost the last person in the building. Nobody in the locker room. But I could hear a shower on. Walked into the shower and assumed that summer shat had just left it on. As I got closer though, I saw a shadow. I just went into the shower stall I was adjacent to. Men's shower so no doors. There was a man there leaning hard against the wall with a hard on out front and one hand reaching down behind his back. When I turned on my shower he froze. Turned facing me in shock. And I watched a 10 inch dildo flop out of his butt and hang between his legs. He then proceeded to drop it and awkwardly try to kick it to the side so I wouldn't see it when he picked it up. I can't unsee it. Not really weird. But this huge guy was weightlifting at the gym I frequent and he farted. And it was the longest fart I've ever heard. Like at least 30 seconds long. He couldn't stop giggling like a little girl. And then everyone else started laughing and clapping like he just performed a theater piece. It was surreal. A football team were training in the pool. As I approached it to swim laps they began yelling out what they wanted to do to me. Gym staff immediately asked them to leave. 
when their coach apologized to me and asked me to ask gym staff to reconsider their decision. I wouldn't. Skeleton of a man was psyching himself up for a 225 pound squat, deep breaths, loud grunting, and smelling salts included. Proceeded to get under the bar, squatted what seemed less than a half rep, more like a quarter rep with bad form, re-racked the weight, and proceeded to yell, duck yeah, as if he was at a powerlifting meet. I think he had too much pre-workout and ho. Edit, because I'm getting harassed for being an asshole that was judging someone in the gym. Thanks for the PM's death threats random people. Note, I was not judging him. I just made an observation and thought about how he was super amped up. Honestly, respect to that dude for attempting to squat that weight. He could tone it down slightly but props to him for the attempted squat. There's a regular at my gym who always gets stares. She's pretty much built like a stick and she's an older woman in her mid 50s. I've seen her a couple of times doing this workout. She literally spends no more than 30-45 seconds on each machine and does them with the worst form I've ever seen in my life as fast as she possibly can. For example, on the cable pull down. She'll pull the handle to her neck level, let it raise to about nose level and pull it down again. She'll do this move of about 3-4 inches of motion just as fast as she possibly can for about 30-45 seconds. Then she'll move as fast as she can to the leg press which she'll fully extend her legs and with her legs nearly extended she'll just bounce the weight over and over. At no point does she return anywhere close to the start position until she's done after another 30-45 seconds. Then she'll go to the treadmill or the rowing machine or something and do that with the worst possible form. After about 5 minutes. She's done and she'll quit and leave. A buddy of mine went up to a girl who had been hitting the Stamaster pretty hard. She was really grinding and sweating so what was his pickup line? Hi, you're really wet. They got married. Edit. Jesus got popular. Now I have to tell him his story is literally the most popular comment I've ever made. He got the girl. I got the updates. I saw the guy in the corner with a 1000 yard stare just frozen in the locker room. I used to work with homeless and rehabilitation. And there's a certain look I've gotten used to that's hard to explain. It's the I'm an addict and I'm about to duck up my life and all the progress I've made so that I can score look. This kid had that same look. So I went over and talked to him. Wearing a swimsuit. Goggles. And my flip flops. There's a certain pushiness that come with I'm a stranger who thinks you're about to duck up your life. So let's talk about it even though you don't want to talk about it kind of conversation. Turns out I was right. The guy had been clean for 2 months and life was falling apart and he just wanted a good score of heroin. So I talked him down. I talked about how he had a bunch of white chips. You get a white chip for 24 hours of sobriety. But hardly and reds. 1 month. Or golds. 2 month. I told him that he's closer than he's ever been to getting a green. 3 month. And that I'd be thrilled to see him get that. I have a pretty clean keychain that goes through all the colors once. Different program with different colors. But same idea. Which makes a pretty good conversation piece for folks waffling on recovering. I even had him hand over his stash so he wouldn't use it once he got home. Edit. Thanks kind strangers for the awards and such. A lot of y'all were wondering if the guy is okay or what happened to the stash. As far as I know, the guy is okay. I never heard from him again after that day. But that tends to happen with addicts. They cut folks out of their lives when they want to move on to a better place or when they go to a darker place. I'm betting guy and the gym isn't someone he cared to keep around. As I'd just be a reminder of a rock bottom low. As for the stash, it went into a locked dumpster at a restaurant. You can lift up the lid just enough to throw in a baggie. I went to the gym at 3 in the morning once. As I'm walking to the weights to do barbell curls, I notice a man prancing to one of the shoulder press machines. Not walking. Prancing. He then steps on top of it and starts dancing on the machine for about 30 seconds and then does the workout. After this he starts skipping over to the dip machine dancing around the whole thing before again doing the workout. Then he stands in the middle of the gym and starts shaking his ass to a tune. These dance moves went on for about 40 minutes. The kicker? There was no music playing in the gym and he had no headphones. I asked my buddy who worked there what this guy's deal was. I was told by him and a co-worker that he refuses to look at people because he thinks they'll steal his soul through their eyes. 
He's a frequent at the gym and everybody usually just tries to stay away from him. Edit. Whoa. Most upvoted comment by far. Thanks Reddit. Edit 2. Thanks for the silver. There's this guy me and my old lifting partner used to call Asian guy. He's this guy that's like about 6 feet 1 if I had to guess. Super lean. Widest lats and biggest traps I've ever seen. Anyway I always used to look forward to watching him lift. And for a while would make sure I was scheduling when I got to the gym for when Asian guy got there because for months at least 6 times a week he would exclusively train legs. And by exclusively train legs I mean he would be at the squat rack for no less than 3 hours. I'd always just kinda hang around to see if he would do anything else a little after my own workout and for that period of time he never did. Until one day I was doing a push workout and was doing lateral raises. I was using 15s or something really light for a warm up and between squat sets he came over to the dumbbells and repped out like 3 reps of 50 pounds lateral raises. So I looked at him weird and he saw me and ran over to rep out another 5 reps of 365 pound squats. I was so stoked I saw him doing something other than squatting that I told my friend I saw Asian guy doing lat raises trying to one up me and he responded by saying he did the exact same thing to him with the exact same exercise. Anyway after a few months he started doing an actual normal rotation of push pull legs which was far less entertaining and somewhere along the way he started using locker number 69 which is the one I usually use. So I've started trying to go before he gets there. I miss Asian guy. There's this guy that does interval training on the treadmill hilariously wrong. It looks like he's trying to imitate Roadrunner from Looney Tunes. Imagine someone upping the speed on the treadmill so much that they have to hold onto the railings to keep from flying off. That's how this guy sprints on the treadmill. The stride of his legs is ridiculous as well. His heels are legit halfway up his back on each stride. As a wise man once said, they gym has two types of people. Men 65 and older. And guys who cover their days. Maybe it's an age thing. But do not talk to me in a locker room. Frankly, don't talk to me at all. But especially in the locker room. If my dong is exposed to open air. That is not a time for a conversation about gas prices. Also, perhaps not weird. But definitely not expected. A few years ago I was super intense of going to the gym. I went 5 days a week. Had a personal trainer. The whole deal. At one point. I was getting off the treadmill, and a guy stopped me saying he had seen me at the gym before and could notice a marked difference in my physique and that I was working out really well and shed a lot of weight in like 6 months. I thanked him, mentioned some things I did, and moved on. But I always remember the random compliments that made me keep going. A woman who measures 2 meters lifts a dwarf as if he were a weight. I was leaving the other day for the showers and a girl. Maybe 21, never spoken to her before, comes off the treadmill to speak to me and the following conversation ensued. Her, are you going back to your car? Me, yes. Her, are you parked at the one you have to pay for? Me, you have to pay for all of them. Her, is it the one outside? Not multi-stories. Me, there's four that are outside. Her, is it far? Me, explain the location to try and progress the conversation to a conclusion. Her, okay then. Don't worry. Me, bye. No context. No nothing. To this day I can't figure out what her angle was but it was very weird. Edit, seems she was either flirting, getting stalked or trying to find the driver she hit. I'll take those odds. I hate to run, but run about a mile a day at a 10 min mile pace before I go and do weights. Like, I hate it so much I wish for a heart attack to take me away at about minute 4. In a case, the treadmills at our gyms have big timers on them that are easy to read. I get on the treadmill one day and see that the guy beside me is running a 5k, a preset on the machine, and has been on for about 4 minutes. But he's going fast, like full out sprint. I punch in my 12 minutes, 10 minute mile plus 2 minute cooldown, and start to run. We finish at the same time. Dude ran a 5k in about 16 minutes. Full on sprint the whole time. I was just kinda in a daze thinking about it for the rest of my workout. I go to the gym. Put in my headphones. Listen to metal. And disappear. It's my zone. My world. Where I get to hurt myself in peace. 
Three days ago I got drug out of my hurty place by a woman standing and waving in my face. Apparently, she thought I was starting at her and her sister. I wasn't even facing them. I told her I don't care that she exists and to go tell a manager. She began to insist I must be gay if I wasn't looking at her. I shrugged and put my headphones in and went back to work. Climbed on a treadmill and started walking to warm up. I usually do intervals where I walk quickly for some time then jog then go back to walking. I'm the only one on a treadmill in a row of 8 in a pretty empty cardio section. Guy walks up and sets up right next to me. Instead of any other treadmill. Then he proceeds to try to race me. On the treadmill. I had my headphones in listening to music but I turned it off because I had to listen to this man start to grunt and. Then holler. Curse. He's going full sprint. Sweat streaming off of him. Splashing the treadmill. Splashing me. But he couldn't let me win. He had to beat me. Petty revenge but I stayed walking on that treadmill for much longer than I normally do. I like to think I helped him set a personal best. He didn't clean that treadmill after he staggered off too. Dirty bastard. Gyms are notoriously where the odd people congregate around here. My brother and I would always try to keep track of the different oddballs at the gym. Including. The mirror man. No one knows if he actually lifts at all since he spends nearly all observable time flexing and checking himself out in the mirror. The old book lady. Literally came to the gym. Changed. Sat on the end of a bench press bench. Read from a book. Changed. Left. Never talked to anyone or exercised at all. A flipper. Guy hung around the free weights. Never lifted anything. But really liked his music. Every 10-15 minutes he would randomly do a backflip. That was his workout. The hot chick. The girl in yoga pants and a sports bra would set up at the squat rack opposite of the benches. She would play on her phone. Sometimes for close to an hour. Until a specific large guy would start doing bench press. Suddenly she was doing low weight squats and some random hip thrusts right in line with him taking breaks between sets. Everyone knew why she was there. The Zumba guy. This one isn't a specific guy. But there always seems to be one guy in every Zumba class. He's always super into it and it flows through him and his interpretive dancing. It's a contrast. One time I walked into the changing rooms and there is the hairiest of gorillas washing his bollocks and asshole in the shower. No curtain. No shame either. Mortifying. Then there was the machine where you squeeze your legs together. Conveniently placed directly opposite the chess fly machine. A woman decided to descend upon said machine whilst I was doing flies. Unbeknownst to her, or so I thought, she had the largest of moose knuckles occurring I have ever witnessed. She then proceeded to operate the machine. And what I witnessed can only be described as someone smashing a Big Mac between two ham joints. What's weird is the smile she gave me. Completely unaware of the metaphorical culinary catastrophe going on between her legs. I was asked if I worship the devil while getting changed one time. I have a tattoo between my shoulder blades the guy thought was satanic paired with my back hair. I just responded with what a strange ass question. He then pivoted my necklace and asked if he could have it. He walked off after I said no. Edit. This comment has as many upvotes as any piece of art I've ever posted here. I think I'm doing something wrong. Hahaha. <laughs> I'm probably somebody else's weird gym experience. I was listening to Robert Frank's rap song Toxic Masculinity during my Incline DB press set. The gym is empty only me in there. Final set I throw the weights down and shout his famous line. Size is the prize. Swell is the goal. MR duck I'm chest day. Turn around take my earbuds out. The PT is showing around a few shock new clients. Oops. I recommended that the guy on the bike next to mine start going to a church. I'm an atheist. He just talked to me a lot and the impression I got from it was that he was really religious and really lonely. I was toweling off after a shower in front of my locker. My junk is pierced so it kinda makes a lot of noise when I do. This caught some old dude's attention who then proceeded to call his friend over. So I got two old guys asking me a ton of questions about my D. I swear they were like an old school comedy team. One was a lawyer the other a doctor. One's granddaughter was brought up cause she's into those kinds of things then decided not a good match cause I'm actually older than I look. In the time it took me to finish getting dressed I swear my abs got a better workout than any ab routine. 
All because some old lawyer didn't know guys were getting fire despierced. I like to go after lunch so I skip the lunch crowd and it's enough time to work out before the after work crowd rolls in. Usually it's just old folks and gym rats at that time so it's great. There's this elderly man that wears car keys, a button down shirt, and a sweater vest while working out. There are always a few strange people in the gym I go to. There is the one old guy who wears karate, a tire that smells like he has never washed it. He proceeds to put a ton of weight on the cable that pull down and will kind of hop up and jerk it back. No form whatsoever. He does do dragon flags and other pretty crazy ab stuff though that always impresses me. But probably the worst thing I saw was a woman who had a 3-4 year old daughter literally sitting in her lap with an iPad while she benched. I get the whole needing to work out but not having the time cause of kids. But at least have her sit on a nearby unused machine. Not sure about going to the gym but while at the gym just a couple of weeks ago, this guy calls across the gym to another guy and says I can smell you from here. Do you play the cross? To which he replied I played when I was younger. First guy says that's what I thought. You smell like dry cum. There were probably 12 people in the gym. So random. This fat guy who looks like Tony Soprano, but twice as hairy, is always in the changing room butt naked. No matter what time of day I go to the gym, he's there and naked. He just sits there, sweaty. Only time he puts a towel on is when he's in the sauna or sometimes the steam room. Because that's the rules. Anyway, one time I came to the gym kinda late. I finish a workout and go to the steam room and he's in there chilling. I didn't recognize him at first because it's so steamed out. After a few minutes he strikes up a convo with me. He's Greek. Owns a successful restaurant. Semi-retired ETC. Pretty cool guy. I didn't even realize he was butt naked until he got up to leave the steam room. He stopped to say one last thing before he left. His D was head height at that point. I was sitting down. And it really wasn't chill. I'm a guy. Some other dude kept staring at me and making me uncomfortable. And not staring sexually or just randomly side-eyeing. He would lift. And stare at me intensely while he lifted. Like he was mean mugging or trying to intimidate me. Well it worked. I felt violated and went to work out somewhere else in the gym. He wasn't even a big guy. Just creepy.